Carol Sanchez. Yeah. She um did you retweet that when it first came out? When it first came out, I was like, let me do my part. I see a missing black black girl. They had APB, the police, the police chief tweeted it out. I was like, let me do my part, retweet this. Somebody might see her. Had a video. They gaffle her, her and her mom walking down the street. Shy, four shy, jump out the uh, the coop, grab uh, Carol, throw in the back seat, push her mom, punk her mom out, push her, rough her mom up. Next day, <laughs> she come walking to the to the goddamn police station crying. <laughs> I was talking about it so it was a hoax. She don't want to move that back to Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess now I found out today she was dating a 23-year-old uh, dude. And I guess that's why she didn't want to leave. That's probably why her mom wanted to get her out of here anyway. You're out here running with these uh, old-ass Akatas. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're going back to Honduras to live with your daddy. It's some uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air shit. To Auntie and your, uh, Uncle in Bel Air, you going back to Honduras acting all thottish out here. I didn't see the story initially. The video dropped initially of her getting kidnapped. Yeah, everybody was going wild about it. Really? Yeah. I was working in, in Ohio, so I missed it, man. Oh, man, it was great, man. <laughs> was it? Oh, man. Damn. Yeah, you know, they, they're like that. You know, I remember I was in high school, right? This this one brother, light skinned brother, was dating this uh, Puerto Rican girl. Right? Uh huh. Her dad found out. She she was the first thing smoking back to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think white? Yeah, you think white folks get worried when they kiss date a black person? <laughs> she asked that Hispanic family when they be mad as hell. You come home with a black man, it's worse than the Hispanic family, yo. Know? I remember, uh, I think I told this story before. I told a girl, I seen a picture of her mother. Her mother looked like a black woman. I said, oh, your mama black. She's like, don't you say that. Oh, shit. I was like, damn. They really hate black people, dog. Can can we leave, can black people leave the false flags alone, man? Uh, I, video, I was like, yo, leave that to the redacted, the Illuminati, the lizard man. <laughs> Every time y'all do it, it's suspect as hell. Now, you... This girl just got cold feet. You got to go all the way, Carol. You can't just, what was you going to do? She thought nobody was going to search for her? All that black girl magic that people be tweeting up, they people were going to wait for this. They were waiting for her every time. Listen, they wait for a, a, a kidnapped black girl. So that, because that fills their narrative that, you know, the black woman is the least protected. Yeah. So when they see that, I don't know what she was thinking. That shit uh, was gonna go viral. What it was like, come on. Yeah, that shit. Oh, yeah, she, she probably didn't think it was gonna be videotaped. I thought, but if she created the hoax, wouldn't wouldn't she have to create the tape too? Or or did the, the, the hoax well, really they, just for her mom? Street. That was just on the street. She didn't know. I guess she's oh. just not. She's not thinking it's videotaped. The uh. video picked up a lot. Oh wow, that's crazy, bro! Damn. So that shit went worldwide. She probably went and checked her Twitter, like, "Oh, they talk about me." <laughs> <laughs> and her boyfriend was like, "Yo, you know how much weed I got in this house? <laughs> you better take your ass to your mama crib before they come in and find this shit." <laughs> You got to go. You hot. <laughs> I hope. I hope that brother don't get. He gonna get locked up too. She underage. He better move his stash and move himself. <laughs> he about to be the next one up. He going upstate. Mm-hmm. 